Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Body of Christ, and our scriptures, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, where the Apostle Paul writes to the church, You are reasonable people. Decide for yourselves if what I'm saying is true. When we bless the cup at the Lord's table, aren't we sharing in the blood of Christ? And when we break the bread, aren't we sharing in the body of Christ? And though we are many, we all eat from one loaf of bread, showing that we are one body. If you've ever said something you immediately regretted, even as the words rolled out of your mouth, it proves you're a member of the human race. I had one of those moments this past Sunday. It was during communion, celebrating the remembrance of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross so our sins could be forgiven. It's arguably one of the most sacred acts in worship, but also a source of deep, viscerally felt joy, a veritable fountain of eternal happiness to be part of the forgiven, the body of Christ, the church. I often find myself during this holy mystery, as Charles Wesley put it in his hymn, Lost in Wonder, Love and Praise. I ask our communion stewards to always leave the loaf whole. When serving this holy meal, I prefer to break off a piece for each person who comes, signifying what Paul wrote about one body. In the church, we are all a part of Christ's body. This Sunday, everything went smoothly until it came to the bread. The loaf was as fresh as ever, but the crust decided it wanted to stay intact. As the line formed to participate, I stepped forward, loaf in hand, ready to break off a piece of the body to serve a piece of the body. I struggled for a moment, but the crust would not yield. It took two more yanks on the loaf before it tore loose. I now had two loaves, one in each hand. Looking up at the congregant standing in front of me with her hands, palms up, waiting, I stammered, It seems this body of Christ doesn't come apart easily. She smiled, and I almost laughed out loud. Solemn and sacred moments are a necessary part of engaging worship. However, at times the lighter moments can point out some deep truths, albeit in a somewhat absurd and uncomfortable way. I immediately regretted saying what I did, but nearly as quickly it hit me that was a deeper truth that had tumbled out of my lips. The body of Christ is tough. Jesus said it would be strong enough with the power of the Holy Spirit to storm the gates of hell. That kind of body does not come apart easily. After some further reflection Sunday afternoon and Monday morning, I concluded that God was speaking more to my heart in that humorous, uncomfortable moment than I realized. If you add up all the stories you've ever heard of churches being torn apart by a fuss over trivialities like color of the roof or carpet or what table the cakes should be on at a fellowship meal, (laughs) those tales are only an ugly tip on Satan's lips. The church has withstood Nero's persecution, the dark ages with false doctrine, the greed of false prophets on TV and radio, physical assaults like COVID, and countless other viruses of human frailty. And the church, the body of Christ, still stands and will stand. For you today... Yes, Jesus did say his church would storm the gates of hell and those gates wouldn't be able to stand. He also said his words would never pass away, ever. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.